Hi, my name is Ray Morrow and I'm an Applications Engineer for TriMac. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Copy Settings Wizard. This is a useful tool to retain familiarity when you may be working on a computer that is in your own, or if you're setting up a new seat of SOLIDWORKS on a new computer. We can access the Copy Settings Wizard in two different ways. The first way is to use the Save Restore Settings command in SOLIDWORKS, which can be found underneath Tools. When we click on this, it will automatically launch the Copy Settings Wizard. However, some customizations do not save until SOLIDWORKS is closed, so it's best practice to close your active session of SOLIDWORKS before using the Copy Settings Wizard. The other way that we can find it is just by going to the Windows key and see, searching out the Copy Settings Wizard. It will come up as an application. Now we can choose to save or restore settings. We'll choose to save initially. The default file location setting is in your documents folder, but you can create a new custom folder for all your document settings. We have checkboxes for all the different things that we can save in these files. The file extension type is SOLIDREG, .SLD REG. System options, toolbar layout, keyboard shortcuts, mouse gestures, so you can really feel at home even if you're on a system that's unfamiliar to you. I'll go ahead and browse, and I'm going to make a new file and rename it. It's good to use a descriptive name to make sure that we don't overwrite settings that we have already backed up. Go to finish, and we'll get a notification that it's saved. To restore settings, it's a very similar workflow. We can, again, open the copy settings wizard. Go to restore settings. You can see all the system settings that we're able to restore. We have checkboxes, some are grayed out. I'll go to browse. I'll select our initial test file. Yeah, hit next. Then we can have options for selecting the destination. If you're an administrator of your system, you can include one or more network computers to distribute this to several computers or roaming user profiles. Because I have a standalone installation, I'm going to use a current user. We can create a backup of the current settings so that we are safe if something should go wrong when we try to restore our settings. And we should also note at this point too that you can choose uh, settings between major versions that you can apply. If I had an older installation of 2021, I could choose to apply this to that version or 2022. And just like that, all my settings have been included in SOLIDWORKS and we're complete with the restore process. So that's a quick overview on how to use the copy settings wizard.